All right, guys, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're all keeping safe. I know I haven't said that for a long time, but I do really mean it. So I've just got a, <laughs> just had a Twitter notification, and I'll be honest, guys, I never expected this at all. Um, it says here, as you can see from the official Division 2 account, get ready for the reveal of Season 9 Hidden Alliance on May 9th. Now, we knew it was called Hidden Alliance because of the uh, because of the PTS. There was some uh, comms in there that could be found showing it was called Hidden Alliance. So that's nothing new, although it may be new to you if you haven't been keeping track of, uh, of the new update and all that sort of stuff. It says we will hit that live button and talk about the new content coming with Season 9 starting May 12th. Now, it's actually my, my birthday on May the 11th, which I have off. Um, I am now going to be requesting May 12th off from work and May 13th. If I can get it, I'll have to wait and see. Hopefully, I can, and that way I can make some content for you guys. Uh, I might go live. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do, really. I, I just want to get involved in this as quickly as I possibly can. It says make sure to follow us on Twitch if you aren't already, and they're going to be doing this reveal uh, on May 9th. So May 9th is next Monday. We don't know what time it's going to be. I'm going to assume if it's anything like it used to be for State of the Game, I'm going to assume it's 5 p.m. UK time. It may be earlier. I'm, I'm not totally sure. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, May 12th is the release of TU15. And I am very surprised at that, guys. I mean, if you watched my last video, I said that I think it would come uh, towards early June. That would give them, you know, four weeks to work on the feedback from the final phase of the PTS Phase 3. But actually, they're taking... Well, phase three ended last week or the start of this week on Monday, which was the what first? So basically two weeks later, uh, when we're getting the new content. So all the stuff that I did mention in my previous uh, video, certainly around countdown and, and map mode and the stuff that I wanted to see. And unfortunately, I don't, I don't think there's those changes that I recommended are going to come to fruition, certainly not with the release of TU15, which is a little bit disappointing. Um, if you haven't watched the video, to, to kind of summarize, I wanted a, you know, a new difficulty. I feel like a new difficulty in that mode is absolutely paramount to satisfying the hardcore audience. I don't feel as though what um, we currently have with Countdown will do that. Um, it does cater to a casual audience, which is fine, because I think ultimately the casual audience probably makes up the majority of people, as it does in most games. And, and I've got nothing against that. I'd probably fit into that field myself. But for the hardcore players, I don't think there's anything really there, and, and, and I don't know anything about any new content which would, suggest, which would say that hardcore are going to be satisfied with this new update. And the second thing was that build diversity for me was really um, is really not a thing in... The hardcore mode, basically you have to build for, for, for DPS. The only time that you maybe wouldn't build towards DPS and you would certainly think about more about your, your player's life is if you're uh, reducing the number. If you're doing it solo or maybe there's four of you or even less, then yeah, maybe you have to be a little bit more... Um, you have to look into that a little bit more. But if you're running a skill build in hardcore, there's no point. Uh, it just doesn't do anything. So I was hoping they would make changes there. Now... They might make changes to that. I hope they do. I, I really hope they reduce the amount uh, of effects on players to stop them from not being able to use skills. Because I think about 50% of the time you basically can't use skills in Gangnam. Um, so, yeah. Unfortunately, I, I don't think there's going to be much in the way of changes in the next week or two before this content comes out. With that said, I'm happy the new content's coming out because I'm looking forward to it. I was um, I presume that the season nine May 9th live reveal may include the intelligence annex. We might even get the intelligence annex on Monday before the reveal. I'm not sure. We are expecting to get a new intelligence annex about the seasonal changes, but I'm going to assume that this live reveal will basically go over those seasonal changes. What those are, I don't really know. I mean, we've seen some leaks about how the manhunts might work. Um, I'm not going to do the spoilers here in this video. Um, if you want to go check those out, then please go check out my spoilers video uh, previously about those leaks and how the manhunts have been changed and stuff. But aside from that, I don't know of any other seasonal changes that we're getting, so I'm, I'm excited to see what they're going to do with that. Of course, the tr in terms of the story, again, I've covered leaks, and I'm not going to go over that in this video, but I, I'm really looking forward to the story for this for, for TU15, um, for Season 9, and obviously the seasons going ahead. I feel like the story is is really hitting the ground running. And I've never really been into the story that much, but I am really looking forward to the story this time around. So I'm excited for that as well. 
Um, so it does say just season nine here, guys. I, I want to stress that it says here that this is for the season nine content coming May twelfth. Um, if we go over here, Pally Hofstein does confirm this new season starts on May twelfth, but also that um, this person Liam Butler asked, "Does T fifteen drop of the season?" and Pally put yes. Um, th that's some of that this didn't clarify if T U fifteen because I know p some people have said that T U fifteen and season nine might be coming out at separate times, but they're not. I mean, I always new i guess that they'd be coming out together um and so that's just clarification that they are indeed coming out together and i'm expecting guys to see more and more um news as it were from maybe yannick or pali or morton ryberg anyone really involved in this as people ask questions about this over the next coming days and if i feel like there's anything i need to talk about in a video or make a video about of course i will i will cover it here on the channel i will be covering the the live stream as it were i will probably depending on the time i will most likely um record my live reaction to it and then upload my live reaction to it um that's probably what i'll do to be honest with you guys and hopefully you'll enjoy that one as well make sure your notifications are turned on and that way you won't miss that video and of course when the content goes live on may 12th i will have you covered with um with videos on that as well i'm currently working on i guess the best build or certainly a build that i'm going to be running for countdown on day one um it's going to be a scorpio build because as i said in my countdown video scorpio builds for this countdown game mode are from what i can tell from my from my testing guys they're, they're, they're probably the best build that you're going to get really they're very they destroy <laughs> everything um and uh I, I imagine a lot of people are going to be going into the countdown game mode i, I think that's where predominantly where people are going to be going as they interact with the expertise system which is um countdown and expertise kind of go hand in hand uh you get a lot of gear from countdown you can you can use a lot of gear in there I mean, you can't use a lot of gear but with the gear that you do get which is going to be a lot you can obviously use that to donate to the expertise system and the expertise system for the experience is, is quite a long grind i'll be honest with you guys and the amount of materials you're going to need is still quite a lot so you're going to need to probably go into countdown a lot in order to really utilize or, or get your, your way through that expertise mode so it makes sense that a lot of people are going to go in there also, of course, the new season. I mean, I've got no idea what this season um, has. I don't know what the season track is. I don't know if it's paid. I presume just like the other seasons, you're going to have to maybe pay, uh, I think it's about £8 here in the UK, uh, in order to access um, the top of the season track, the top line of the season track, which normally has you know, more materials, more gear, that sort of stuff. Um, I presume it's 100 levels. I don't know if the ex how the experience works with season nine, if it's changed. I presume it's going to be exactly the same where the first 15 levels are you kind of get double experience uh, and then it's relatively easy to make the 100 levels i mean i've seen people do it in a day um i've always said before that i wish the season uh would work less I, I wish it was not so much as bad as destiny but i wish it would take longer than it currently does and if, it, if they're not going to change that then i would hope that they would allow us to reset the season and go back through it again just to get the same gear it doesn't really matter people just generally like to feel a sense of progress, uh, progression i know that personally when i complete the season track which probably won't take me very long I would love to be able to go back through it for resources, exotic caches, all of that stuff. It's important. So I hope they would have implemented that with the season. Again, we'll have to wait and see. We really, I really have no idea what seasonal changes they've made, guys. They've been very, very quiet on this. And as someone who hears a lot of stuff before uh, it becomes official, stuff that I can talk about, stuff that I can't talk about, um, for someone who hears a lot of that stuff, I, I've heard nothing about the seasonal changes aside from the leaks that we've seen but i've seen nothing else so i'm going into this blind i'm very grateful that i'm going into this blind because quite often i go into this stuff knowing more than i probably should which um yeah it, it's nice to go in blind i'll be honest it is nice to go in blind it's something that i wish the the actual um we we might get in the future with uh, future seasons where we don't have a pts i've said this before the pts for me is is a double-edged sword you know the pts is good because you get a lot of feedback and the devs can really work on that feedback and make the experiences as, as, as good as they can within the time that they have but on the other side i'd love to go in there blind 
And I know you can say, look, you don't have to play the PTS, but as someone who has a YouTube channel, someone that service you guys and want to make content for you guys, uh, I really don't have a choice. Uh, I really have to go in there and make content for you guys. That's the most important thing is that I make content for you guys. Uh, I put that before myself. Um, if I wasn't making content on YouTube yet, I would probably avoid everything so that I could go in blind on all of these seasons and avoid the PTS and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, I would hope that in the future, um, maybe we don't have a PTS and maybe the devs do a great job without a PTS and we can just go in there and everyone can experience it for the first time. Um, that's what I hope for. But there you go, guys. That was it. I just wanted to jump in and make this video for you guys. It's ASAP. I wasn't planning on making a video today. Like I said, I'm working on a Scorpio build that I'm, I was, I was going to kind of hope to get out to you guys today, but I don't think I've got the pieces that I need in order to make the build. So I'm going to have to work on getting those pieces for a video, but I should have that video out at some point next week, I hope. Although saying that, depending on what happens on Monday with what kind of information we got, uh, we get, I could be busy making content on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then of course, uh, the new content, TU15 Season 9 coming out on Thursday, I might not even get a chance to make the Scorpio build for you guys and get it out, but if I don't, oh well, but I will get it out at some point, hopefully. There you go, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy this one. Like I said, make sure your notifications are turned on. You will, I believe you have to be subscribed in order for notifications to turn on. So subscribe first, notifications on. Drop a like if you enjoyed this one. And until the next one, epic out.